All right, let's take a look at the second FRQ from the 2023 exam. Like I said before in the first one, if I have any mistakes, I'll put it in the description below um, because the solutions aren't officially out. So these are just my best guesses at what the answers would be or what I would put down if I were taking the test. So developer wants to know whether adding fibers to concrete used in paving driveways will reduce the severity of cracking because any driveway with severe cracks will have to be repaired by the developer. Developer conducts a completely randomized experiment 60 new homes that need driveways. 30 of the driveways will be randomly assigned to receive concrete that contains fibers, and the other 30 driveways will receive concrete that does not contain fibers. So it's an experiment. After one year, the developer record the severity of the cracks in each driveway on the scale of 0 to 10, with 0 represent not cracked at all and 10 representing severely cracked. Based on the information provided about the developer's experiment, identify each of the following experimental unit. So what are you actually going to be um, operating on? What are, what, what are you going to be applying the treatments onto is for the experimental units. And so they're going to be um, the 60 new homes uh, driveways or the driveways on 60 new homes. That's what you're operating. That's what you're going to be operating on. That's what you're going to be experimenting on. The treatments are you going to receive concrete uh, with fibers and the control is concrete without fibers or I don't know it's not necessarily a control without fibers okay that's a shorthand with and without you can write out the words uh, response variable is what we're going to see is like the amount of cracking zero through ten so the response is going to be the respond to the treatments. What are you going to measure as an outcome there? Describe an appropriate method developer could use to randomly assign concrete that contains fibers and concrete that did not contain fibers to the 60 driveways. So you could um, number. So like I, I like to keep this simple. I could uh, number the driveways from 1 to 60 <coughs> and put the each number in a hat and then I'm just going to draw the numbers out of the hat draw draw 30 numbers out of a hat or right, we'll say we'll mix it around we'll say we'll mix the numbers around mix it around draw 30 numbers out of the hat these and you need to say so it doesn't really matter you don't use a hat or anything like that but you do need to say what those what it would the first 30 are going to get these first 30 will receive you need to say how you're assigning them will receive concrete without fibers and then all remaining remaining or all unselected houses, unselected houses will receive uh, concrete with fibers. Okay, you could use a random number generator. As long as you ensure that 30 are gonna get fibers and 30 are not gonna get fibers and you say exactly how that's going to happen, that's good, but that's kind of like the simplest way. I like to keep it actually simpler based on the grading. Just as long as it's equally likely that any one of the houses can be selected or all sample sizes are possible or all sample permutations are possible and that you are guaranteeing that you're gonna get 30 and 30, right? That's a key part that I, I know they're gonna have a check. Make sure that there's gonna be 30 of each, okay? Suppose the developer finds that there's a statistically significant reduction in the mean severity of cracks in driveways using the concrete that contains fibers compared to driveways using concrete that does not contain fibers. In terms of the developer's conclusion, what is the benefit of randomly assigning the driveways to either the concrete that contains fibers or the concrete that does not contain fibers? Um, randomly assigning the, the treatments um, allows you to establish causality and it reduces maybe um, any confounding variables or any other, yeah. So it, it, reduces, it reduces the chances <clears throat> of um, of confounding variables causing causing the difference in causing the difference 
in results. Oh, I don't know how I want to say this. Okay, so we say randomly assigning, let's, let's just be clear, randomly assigning treatments. So what's the point of randomly assigning treatments is to, is to, is to make sure that you're the only difference that is statistically significant is going to be just um, the, 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 the treatments themselves. You want to isolate the treatments as the only reason that they're different. If you do not randomly assign, then you may introduce confounding variables. Those are, those are unknown variables that are also causing that relationship in the data, which may, you know, may, 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 may change your decision. Um, I don't know if I would add anything to that. I feel like sometimes I write it. Randomly assigning treatments reduces the chances of confounding variables causing the difference in results. Thus, I would just say, just thus, the developer can be more certain that the, uh, that the difference in concrete is the only thing thing causing the difference in results only thing affecting the 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 cracking okay <clears throat> or uh, affecting the difference in cracking so something like that that's what i would probably say that's probably everything that i would put for that frq